having, as usual, as he did on our very first day in America, <coughs> in, in Fillmore East in New York, when the, the four of us did it without the Mellotron, because of Microsoft, he's just head, head in the Mellotron with a coat hanger trying to fix it. But like I said, it was very temperamental. And there, there he is, Paul Mike, and you can see the kind of stress on his face as this is going through, because the voltage was very unstable at the Isle of Wight. So on this track that I had of him, on the one track I've had of him and Ray together, I could hear Mike sort of to, when the sun is going on, I'm cut the fuck in <laughs> shouting at a roadie off, off to the side there. But every time he wasn't on Mike, he'd turn the buttons and do the nice song. And that, that goes on for most of the um, tape. It's always interesting to listen to these tapes in isolation. You hear, you hear a, there's another world going on on different people's microphones. I, I don't think they ever get it right. I've got it right. And that's actually on the, on the tapes. The one thing that me and Alberto had the different, most difficult job with trying to get the Mellotron to stop going like that with the, with the sound and trying to be and trying to accommodate that into the rest of the mix. Yeah. And when did it come to be that you were able to actually... Uh... That's a great question. 